Hey everybody, it is Justin, your guide into Parallel. This is our next Let's Play video, and uh, I want to start with an update. I did drop a poll a couple days ago asking, hey, Parallel Gang, what faction starter deck do I buy next? And Shroud is not on this list because I'm already using it to make people mad in ranked. Um, <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I just wanted to learn field control and like correct timing. Um, I didn't necessarily want to just, you know, climb and ranked. I'm actually deranking and ranked because I still got to learn how to play the game, right? We're just learning as we go, dropping content as we play. But you guys voted. Uh, at first, Cathari, at first, Earthen was in the lead for, you know, the first couple hours of the poll. And then I saw Cathari take a lead. And I was like, okay, we're going to boot up the Cathari deck. We're going to token spam the shit out of people. And then it, at the very end of it, <laughs> it's Cathari and Marcolian. So thanks, guys. I got to buy both starter decks now. So um, we'll have to buy both at some point. But that's totally okay. We'll get started and just play a match of... Okay, well, I only know how to really explain Shroud. Um, so we're just going to do Shroud. And then the next couple of videos, we'll go into Marcolian and Cathari and learn how to grind that out. So why don't I segue into Parallel itself? Again, if you guys don't know, the season is ending pretty soon here. So it ends on the 30th. And today, I believe, is the 23rd. So there's about seven days left to grind. If you are grinding on the Battle Pass, you'll be able to earn a bunch of stuff. I'm currently almost to level 10. I'm currently slacking. I probably should be grinding a lot more and playing a lot more because you know there's a lot of there's a lot of good rewards here. I should probably try to get to level 15 because I definitely want to get the Argos fealty here. Um, I definitely I kind of want that. Um, so again, why don't we just boot it up and drop into a game of Shroud? So why don't we just go ahead play some ranked? We're gonna drop into our new Dawn Shroud deck. That's what I hear is currently meta. Uh, so we're gonna go tilt some people in ranked and we're just going to drop into a ranked match i don't know if i'm going to win or lose guys i might lose and you guys feel free to let me know what i did wrong in the comments below because that's going to be really helpful because again i am just learning the game getting acquainted with parallel just kind of documenting everything as we go along because i love t i love myself a good tcg i'm going to do some magic and move myself over to the correct side so i'm not blocking the deck and the bank that you guys can actually watch. Oh, God damn it. We're playing against Cathari uh, Naeus. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Okay, what? Do, okay, we're going first. All right. Oh, do we get a good hand? Okay. Well, I don't really know. Uh, so, again, in the mulligan phase, you'll be able to choose a couple of cards here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drop out Dark Dealings. Oh, man, I would like Honor Steward, but I want to see if I can pull anything with one um, one cost. So we're going to go ahead and drop in here. I probably should readjust my resolution for future playthroughs. So then there's no black space over here, but that's totally okay. Um, all right, what are we going to do here? So we got Boys Hush Novice, uh, Unstable Steel Generator. We should probably hold on to this so that we can, you know, see if we can... <laughs> Make sure we don't get token spammed into oblivion. We also have Baron in here, so if we have any effects, we can you know roll a random one. Uh, I can't really use Honor Steward for a while, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop this into the bank, and we're not gonna be able to do anything mainly because um, we don't have anything that costs one. So we're gonna go ahead and end our turn, and we're gonna pass it over to Cathari here. I should probably take a look at uh, what the cards do here. So Fanatical Crewman is nice. It puts the top two cards of each player's deck into your singularity. And in New Dawn, um, you know, this is all about pulling the pulling your uh, Paragon here onto the field. Uh, so then you can essentially, it can't be targeted. You spend one energy, you banish this unit, goes to your singularity. When it, when it becomes your turn, it pulls a, up. You can choose a card to pull out of your singularity, deals one damage to any random target. Um, so he pulled out the artifact appraiser here okay so that's just a pentagon relics we'll try to take that out first um okay cool that's annoying oh, oh we can actually just throw this out first that's nice okay cool so uh do i need void touch novice i definitely want this uh i want to play this now to to really i don't know i should probably hold on to it uh we're learning as we go so we got 45 seconds to choose deal one damage to random enemy unit if this deal 
man, I got to figure out how the cards work here. So, okay, um, we're just gonna go, we're just gonna play as we go. I'll probably throw Baron into the bank. I don't know if this is gonna make Shroud players cringe, <laughs> but we're just gonna do it anyways. So, guess uh, oh man, I should hold on to removal. But again, I am playing New Dawn, so I guess it's kind of annoying. Um, we have two. We'll throw this down for the next turn, so we throw some targeting. So we'll throw this down. Deal one damage to a random target or unit. Okay, cool. Hit that, so we can take it out with the uh, Mercenary Gunslinger next. So we don't have any energy in the. F we don't have any energy in our bank, so you know it's their turn now. So okay, deal one damage to target enemy unit. This unit is destroyed. Banish it. Okay, we'll play Void Runner next, and we'll drop it onto uh, the Artifact Appraiser or whatever he drops. Okay, no, we're, we're definitely getting rid of this first. Holy shit. <laughs> That's super freaking annoying. I hate cutting Scythian, guys. Oh my god. It's so annoying. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> after like two turns, he gets like a whole field. It's so annoying. Okay, that's going into the bank. I can't use that right now. Um, We need to get rid of this. So uh, he has a lot on the field. So maybe I'll throw the unstable shield generator down. We'll throw down. Uh, we can't necessarily throw this down. Um, okay, this can attack this. Oh man, yucky, yucky. Okay, cool. So we'll try to troll a little bit here. Uh, we got one damage to target enemy unit. Oh uh, no, we could take out the Scythian, but if I play this, so prob one, two, three, four, we'll have enough damage to kill it. I'm not sure. So like this has five. Uh, if this triggers next turn, if he doesn't isn't able to kill it, then it'll wipe his field, which would be kind of hot. Uh, <laughs> so, um, God damn it. What do I do? Uh, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead. I don't know what to do, guys. <laughs> decisions, decisions. I'm going to go. Yeah, I'll throw it down. We'll, we'll take a risk here. Uh, and then we will go ahead. Well, this can't banish anything right now. So we're going to go ahead and attack this. Why not? Uh, and then we'll just end our turn. Uh, we'll hold on to this. Sacred Destruction. Okay, we'll throw that into our bank for next turn. And hopefully he doesn't take out our um, Unstable Shield Generator. So we're let, we're waiting for this to destroy all, this unit. Deals two damage to all units. So it should wipe the whole field. That would be kind of nice. Because... Um, <laughs> okay, okay, epic. Okay, epic. Absolutely shrap. <laughs> shroud moment <laughs> yo okay that was okay that's wild uh, i didn't expect the match to end that way um we're like seven minutes in we should probably play another round um of course i'm not playing a fully a fully i'm not playing the full shroud um deck i did enter i did pull some cards out and replace it i did read some of, of daryl's threads here um but <laughs> yo that's so funny bro <laughs> <laughs> oh my god okay yo that's hilarious um yeah a lot of if you guys play shroud you're just gonna make a lot of people mad <laughs> um but uh honestly sorry on, uh, honest to god guys i was just trying to learn how to play uh see like proper sequencing and um getting punished for making bad choices because if you don't sequence correct on uh, New Dawn, you're going to have a bad time. Um, but outside of that, I mean, it's just kind of fun to just banish your enemy's uh, field. That's very fun. I love playing Demolecular Molecular Rise. That's a very fun card. Makes for a, a very annoying. <laughs> I certainly wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of a shroud of a New Dawn Shroud deck. Um, I know Planetfall is. Uh, I'm excited for Planetfall, guys. If you guys don't know what Planetfall is, it's basically the next expansion pack for what you call it parallel so that's going to be really sick we're playing against Nas once uh once more uh, we're playing against Cathari the Cathari boys so we're going to be up against some token spam so again we love we love just playing banishing so okay we're going second this turn hopefully we'll be able to uh have a hand um let's see what he does damn that's a pretty sick card back okay cool okay we're, we're throwing this away we'll throw this out uh this is usable that's usable that's usable okay these are good these are good okay i kind of want to be able to showcase the new dawn um paragon engine that would be really nice oh we got heart Ooh, lord harf is such a nice looking card <laughs> he's got like a gold suit on oh damn what did he put down on the field if you control two more valerius striker uh 
Lurusi Striker, his card is plus one, and then he gets evasive, so if he has two, okay, cool. So, we pulled two of these uh, Singularity Stewards. Okay, nice. Um, damn. Wow. Uh, we should hold on to Life Siphon for his Scipions or whatever. Effects you play cost one less. Um, well... Boy touch novice. We'll throw this into the we'll throw this down. Uh, I don't necessarily know if I want to throw down a singularity steward immediately uh, Cuz I don't know if I'm gonna be able to banish stuff right off the bat. Actually. Yeah, I think I will so we'll throw this down um, And then we'll go ahead and end so Very cool. Very cool. What do we have here? So again, if you guys are playing new dawn um, make sure to have Four mana. See, don't cast it on turn three, guys. That'd be kind of bad. Okay, if another friendly unit is destroyed, this target gets plus one, plus one. Okay, cool. Oh, that's annoying. Holy shit, it got plus... Oh, God. Oh. Hmm. That may be a little... Oh, I have a Vanish. <laughs> I love playing Shroud. Okay, so we can't cast that right now, so we're going to go ahead and drop this over here. Um, Holy moly. Okay, this actually changes things up just a tiny bit. So, uh, yeah, we pulled stuff to our bank. Um, this is kind of kind of strong, actually. That's okay. Amazing. Um, so we have two. I don't necessarily know if I want to play Harf right now. I don't know if I want to throw down another Singularity Steward because I can't have my engine out. I want to hold on to one of those. Um, deal two damage to target unit. If this would destroy the unit, banish it instead. So, yeah, we probably want to throw it down. Well, actually, we should probably throw down our Singularity Steward. No, we want to... Again, sequencing is important. You don't want to throw down literally everything or you might have a bad time. But yeah, fuck it. We'll throw down a singularity steward. We'll throw down uh two, we'll throw two damage on this guy here. So he should take some damage. He gets banished to my field. Very nice. This guy doesn't have defender, so I mean, we're just going to throw some damage down onto the field. That's pretty hot. So we're going to go ahead and end our turn here. Um, so he's a 3-3 three, three still. Okay, nice. And we'll, we'll throw down a Banish. We'll, we'll hold the Banishes for the core cards, like Cunning, cunning Scipion and um, some other things as well. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, Nas, if, if he attacks, then he gets plus one, plus one. So that's a really interesting buff. Um, very interesting Cathari mechanisms. I, I, I definitely enjoy their mechanics. Um, that's probably what I'll buy first with this Darda deck here. So, um... Yeah, this is a 4-4. It's getting kind of annoying, but this Aishian Subjugate, after a friendly clone enters the field, target unit gets plus one, plus one, and has waste the top of your deck. So it increases that ability. I kind of want to hold on my ban to my banishes, or I'm gonna have I'm gonna just have a bad time if I don't hold on to that. So um I could I could throw down Harf and uh, Mercenary Gunslinger. Or I could throw some more of the stuff into the singularity. So uh difficult decisions probably use this to attack this that would probably be nice yeah, that's probably a good idea we should probably throw some removal down let's throw it this here and then we'll use our singularity steward to take this guy out we don't like the stacking abilities of the token spam deck we'll deal some damage immediately and then i don't know if i should cast harf or, harf or not right now um but, I mean, if he has any abilities, I feel like that's a token spam deck, so mm, we'll throw it down just because. But <laughs> I'm not really holding anything in my hands, so I'm going to have to try to end relative... I'm going to have to try to, like, speed it up. You got to speed run the Cathari, uh, Cathari decks or else they're going to just overrun you, so you got to end relatively quickly or try to just keep dealing damage. Okay, that's going to take my uh, Singularity Steward out. Rest in peace. Hopefully. We'll see. Let's see what he chooses. There's no way he chooses. Oh, yeah, okay. He did. Okay. Okay, cool. We're not playing against bots. Nice. Okay, cool. I took that out. <sighs> oh, I actually trolled. Yeah, that's why I'm supposed to hold on to my Singularity Steward. Actually, so annoying. <laughs> I trolled kind of bad. So... Uh, Got to put something into our bank here. Unstable shield generator. I'm not sure. Uh, I probably should hold on to my banish here. Um, that's getting kind of strong, so maybe we'll actually do that one. So we'll throw this down here. We're sitting at about four. Um, maybe I shouldn't have done that one, actually. Maybe I should have done my honored steward. So anyways, uh, you got to make a lot of choices in parallel that I've no uh, I've noticed. you got to make a lot of smart choices. They're going to have just... <laughs> uh yeah okay put the top two cards i don't know if i necessarily want to mill right now 
This is getting a little bit strong, uh, but I really want to hold a, a banish down, so I'm not sure. Maybe we'll throw this down and hit that one. Yeah, we'll throw this down. Throw this down. We'll target... Uh, so basically, Honored Steward allows you to banish uh, another card on the field um, or another unit on the field until it leaves the battlefield. So that's nice, especially if you want to negate specific targets that are kind of annoying. Um, but yeah. Okay, cool. That's a 3-2. Waste the top card of your deck. Well, why don't we just keep dealing damage? That should be fine. It's not like these are going to do anything at the moment. Net positive to just deal more damage. Okay, we got to throw some... Oh, yeah, we're going to start throwing... We're going to start milling stuff into our singularity here so we can um, start a new Dawn engine. I may have trolled just a tiny bit uh, playing my singularity stewards immediately because that's the that's like the core part of your deck. Um, I might lose... I actually might lose this game. <laughs> but again, we're, we're just learning. We're, we're understanding how to play the game. And again, it's just going to take a lot of time just to get good that's how everything works honestly <laughs> gotta get good okay so we're gonna have about five mana here soon so why don't we go ahead and throw our one of these guys over here we can play five so we can either banish or deal damage um can we do any can we do any significant damage here top two cards to target enemy unit okay We'll throw this guy down here. We'll mill our decks into our singularity. That will fuel our new Dawn um, engine here. Uh, maybe I should deal some damage here. Deal one damage to target enemy unit. Okay, cool. One damage, four, 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 four. I don't want his thing to come back, so that would be kind of annoying. Um, holy moly. Actually, yeah, what do I do here? Okay, I'm gonna do that. We'll throw this guy down and we'll take out his mercenary gunslinger and it'll get banished so that will fuel more of our singularity which would be nice and then i believe we should just keep doing i'm not sure if i should keep doing damage what does this do at the start of your turn if you don't control this okay i got 14 seconds left holy moly okay um yeah we don't want this to die quite yet so we're just gonna do some net damage here so <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I gotta get my new Don engine like soon. <laughs> what is this do? Oh yeah, that's a. Oh yeah, that's attacking. Okay, cool. Cool. He's probably gonna take out my honored steward pretty soon here. What did he just cast? Okay, cool. Okay, relic, relic contingency, uh, contingent on. Okay. Okay, he casted a lot of cards that are contingent on having a relic on the field. So, okay, yeah, he's going to take that out. That's going to bring this back. And, okay, cool, cool. Triggers my uh, ability here. That's nice. I'm going to need to... Oh, it doesn't come back with the, uh, with the, with the tokens. Okay, cool. Okay, I need to get rid of this. That's, that looks, that sounds really painful. Um, okay, cool. So, uh, oh, man. <laughs> What do you do when you get a demolecular rise? I don't know if I should hold on to this is the problem. It's like, um, oh my god. Okay, deal one damage to random. I don't think this is going to be useful in any capacity. And I might need to board wipe pretty soon here. Um, so, yeah, I think we're just going to drop our Void Touch Novice into the bank here. Um, I don't really want to take this damage right now. So... I could just drop the banish on it immediately. I think that might be fine. Yeah, I don't really want to take that amount of damage right now. Okay, and this is a 3-4. Okay, that shouldn't be too bad. Uh, we should just keep doing damage. All right, that's totally fine. So we're at 4 out of 6. We should be able to cast Demolecularize next and have literally no hand. <laughs> That'd be kind of terrible. But hopefully we can get our engine uh, for our new Don so we can pull cards from our Singularity. Oh, shit. He pulled out Naeus. Okay, well, I mean, I have a Demolecularize, but he might attack mine to Harf, so I might get kind of wrecked here. Is he just going to hit me directly? Yeah, I think that's what he's going to do. You got to take out my Harf, brother. <laughs> 
<laughs> Yo, he didn't do it. What, it, dude? Oh my god! I don't think he's gonna like what I'm about to do here. We're gonna drop a demolecularize on his entire field with his paragon. So we're gonna take his entire field to our singularity. Oh, that feels so good. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> this is how this is what a shroud player physically looks like whenever they drop a demolecularize on a Cathari deck. <laughs> that, has a, that has a paragon and a bunch of shit out. <laughs> pain maxing. We like we like the pain maxing just a little bit. I wonder what he's thinking right now. He's probably not happy. <laughs> yeah, he just threw out all of his shit. <laughs> amazing okay cool guys um that's amazing so uh i definitely want to start pulling stuff out of my singularity now um and but i that's kind of annoying i'm gonna start taking damage like really hard so fuck i, I don't think i need to play the fanatical crewman i have seven right now and i want to cast this but it's gonna cost four so can I draw stuff? Okay, so I, I technically have eight mana if I want to do anything. So why don't we throw our unit here so we have eight mana. Um, six plus ten, that's ten. I need to wait two turns for if I wanted to play this now. Gain control, target enemy relic. That's not going to be really useful right now. We're just going to keep milling stuff into our deck. Um, yeah, we, we'll probably pull this out, which will allow us to pull two parallel cards. Okay, cool. Mill into Singularity. And then, yes, we're going to play our... We're going to actually play New Dawn now. Um, very nice. We can get our engine out. I'm going to go ahead and send it to the Singularity. Cast one mana, so then, you know, it triggers its on... Uh, its whatever effects later. So that's nice. Oh, nice. We got a Defender. Very amazing. Oh, man. What a nice... What a nice... <laughs> okay, even if I don't win... That was definitely a fun play. I love dropping demolecularized nukes on Cathari players. So fun. I'm actually going to lose. <laughs> but that's what I get for playing Shroud. So there you go. Okay, cool. We got to pull something from a singularity here. Um, hopefully we can pull something good. I don't necessarily know. Do I have any demolecularized? That's a good question. Uh, shit. I don't know what's going to be good for us here. We got, we got six car. We got six. Ah, shit. Uh, yes, we're gonna play this. Okay, cool. Uh, deal two damage. Uh, okay, amazing. We have eight mana. Uh, we should probably throw... Ha! Defenders! <laughs> okay, cool. Um, two damage. We'll take this out. Uh, we need... Okay, shit. Uh, we need to put this into there. Uh, we got one minute left. Five, um, nine, so we have four defenders. Uh, shit. Okay, we don't need to play this right now, but we de Oh, dude, we have to still hold on to our new Dawn. Uh, that's great. Amazing. Okay, well, we're gonna have to do this. We have to do this. I don't want that shit to die. Um, I'm definitely gonna take out this. This is super annoying. Holy shit. Um, 32 seconds. Okay, we're gonna drop... Either we drop this... And it just dies. Or we can drop some troll defenders here. Yeah, we're going to drop some troll defenders onto the field. So that should be nice. I should <laughs> oh, I love playing. I, I love playing. Shroud is, is just so troll. I'm not going to lie. It's very troll. Okay, so uh, this probably should die. Yeah, we should take that shit out. That's annoying AF. Okay, cool. That's fine. We'll take that out. That should get banished. And then we can we can decently manage with our defenders, and we still have a defender to cast next turn. So, um, holy moly, guys! Holy moly! <laughs> um, yeah. But outside of that, I mean, I enjoy playing parallel parallel a lot. Um, super fun game. You know, if you like TCGs, this is definitely something you should play, especially if you are already playing Web three games and stuff like that. Um, definitely very fun, very exciting. I, I I don't know if I'm gonna be able to wipe his field before he fucking di <laughs> just hits me with one one thing, right? <laughs> but we'll see, we'll see. I'm not sure. We'll have to figure it out, guys. Yeah. Wow. The Neus, uh, the Neus passive is quite strong. <clears throat> Thirteen. Okay. Cool. 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 I wonder what I'll be able to pull. Uh, shit. Uh, we have ten seconds to choose. Fuck. Um, seven. Okay, we'll we'll pull this. 
I should probably be looking at my singularity. That's that's a really important thing to be doing, especially if you're playing um, this type of stuff. You got to look at your cards to understand what they're doing. So um, I don't necessarily know if I'm going to be able to survive this round, to be honest. So we're just going to go out with a bang, right? So uh, we'll drop this back um, into our singularity. So we have nine mana to cast. So I mean, we can only really play two things. We're going to play our sacred. Uh, we're going to play our sacred uh, siphoner here. Uh, what the fuck do I want to pull here? Oh, this actually changes things just a tiny bit. Um, she is nits. I don't know. Defender? Do we have any troll cards? I'm not sure. We'll just let we'll just let RNG choose it for us. Okay. Uh, so okay, that's not use that's not useful whatsoever. <laughs> we trolled. Okay, amazing. And then we'll be able to choose one card that will get uh banished for now. Yeah, this should this probably needs to get banished because that that buffs his stuff. So outside of that, he's gonna kill me next turn. So no worries, GG. It was fun playing against you, Soul Ripper. Very epic. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm probably gonna die this turn. He's probably gonna ah uh, he casts this Cunning Sipian. This is a really core card. If you guys are playing against Cathari, you definitely want to get you want you want to hold some banishes or removal for this particular card because it it just you know basically turns into a ton of. Uh, <laughs> iterants that can just overrun you really quickly especially with uh his uh his paragon's ability so very nice very exciting to see that but outside of that um pretty good maybe he won't be able to kill me this turn he still has to do <laughs> okay he can't kill me just yet but we'll figure it out i should probably be looking at um my singularity to be honest uh i got eight seconds holy shit guys um okay Two, one. Okay, well, we'll just cast it. We'll pull this into our... Oh, hmm, interesting. Okay, nice. Oh, what is happening here? <laughs> yo, yo, the emotes are actually so funny. Holy moly. <laughs> oh, yo, okay, that's really funny. Okay, GG's, my guy. Uh, how do I say GG? <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, we weren't gonna win this one for sure. Uh, but again, GG, my man, always fun to play against. Always fun to play against all the people of Parallel. Um, definitely enjoyable. Again, we just, we won one, we lost one. Of course, that's just gonna be the video. Um, but you guys know what to do. I'll have all the links in the description if you wanna get started with Parallel. By all means, if you use my referral code, you'll be able to get enough credits to buy two appar uh, apparition packs which will allow you to, you know, spec out your decks, you know, just kind of check out your collection. Um, I am kind of messing around here, <laughs> but you can take a look at all the cards. Very nice. Pretty exciting. There are a bunch of mechanics that you can learn and figure out and how to, you know, meta, <laughs> meta strategize. But again, yeah, it's been good. I'll see you guys in parallel. Peace.